Okay, so here's the model all ready for the wing. We're gonna do a flight, make sure everything works. And here's the wing in the back of my car. Okay, so this is Mario with MIA Micro Flight. And this is a model that belongs to one of my customers that uh, sent me for uh, repair and uh, upgrades and just to make sure everything was set up properly. So it's been uh, reworked. Uh, the wing has been redone. It's got new um, ribs and everything has been set up according to the way I set up my models as so that they perform just as in all my videos and I'm about to install the wing this is a three-point uh, installation here via these three um, nuts these are thumbs thumb nuts I have to remove those and locate the wing there and we'll pop it right in place ah it's getting a little cool this time of the year uh, this is uh, December I believe today's the 7th I just haven't had time because I've been so busy to do this particular flight I promised my customer I would do a flight to make sure that everything is working properly the way I like doing things and so as soon as I get the wing on we'll do a flight test We'll take it for a spin and hopefully my video camera will catch this uh, nice and neat. Okay, so this is the way this installs. Three point setup here with the wing fully assembled as one piece. The wing is transported in the back seat of a small car. You can do that just like I, I did with this model. So we got those two in place and the third one here so it makes installation a snap. Got to make sure that these are nice and snug. These are actually 3D printed parts and the way these are done is they have a, a star lock nut underneath which is uh, really grips onto the 3D printed part but also the 3D print part has a through hole which is slightly smaller diameter than the, than the screw so it has double grip on the nut underneath the plastic part and also on the plastic part itself okay so here's what the model looks like all assembled it's got the uh, right di dihedral um, I mean to adjust these uh, servos here for the ailerons If we can catch it that way from view and the side view so it's got dihedral it's got the proper camber and it also has a little bit of washout and uh, washout is when the uh, rear section of the uh, trailing edge of the tip of the wings pitch a little bit higher uh, and that's just to establish a little bit of uh, stability Okay, I'm flying this with the uh, customer's uh, receiver, which actually binds to my trustworthy transmitter. This is the transmitter I've been using for all my tests, and you've seen this transmitter in all my videos. It's kind of a customized setup. That's why it doesn't have the antenna here, but it's I trust this radio more than I trust a brand new one. So we'll do that. And we're going to fly this with a 4-cell 5000 uh, 5.2 amp battery. I'll locate this battery where it typically is located. Okay. Now the model should balance 25% to 30% from the leading edge, which is about where I'm holding the model, right about the right about there, right behind the servo uh, tab. 
it's about 25%. So it's slightly nose heavy, which is preferable than having a tail heavy model. Now, typically, the Quicksilver ultralights tend to tail drag when the model is sitting on ground when it's static. Once it gets, uh, once the uh, motor starts and it be begins to pick up speed, the model self levels itself and then it takes off. I need to connect the uh, servos here for the ailerons. So I need to do that. I should have done that before I installed the wing. But let's see if we can do that. I'll come back to this video once I do that. I'm going to be fly testing this. Make sure all the controls are correct. Right elevator. Right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, rudder.
Okay, the model's fine. 